Today's video is going to be another video outside of the workshop. My window is going up and down on its own. Hello? That's weird. Alright, let's open the door. So I've been kindly invited by CCM Motorcycles to come and visit the factory. The factory isn't that far down the road from me. It's They're based in Bolton, which is sort of the upper side of Manchester. So it's about an hour's drive away from here. And I'd be stupid not to give this a chance. So, so in a nutshell, CCM are d manufacturers of scrambler bikes and what they've created now is this beautiful bike, the Spitfire range, which includes the Bobber, uh, the Spitfire, the Cafe Racer, the Scrambler. I'm sure I've probably forgotten something else as well. And the only way I can describe them is that they are now, I consider to be a leading manufacturer of production cafe racer bikes and scrambler bikes. They are the prettiest out there. They're honestly the prettiest bikes I've seen. I mean, that's obviously subjective, but to me, I absolutely love them. Down to, down to that raw steel frame, the, the nice curves on it, everything's beautiful. So I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys the CCM factory, show you the bikes as well, and it's a bit of indulgence for me as well. I really want to see how they make these bikes. You know, they, they, they build these bikes so fast, a lot faster than what I'm building in my workshop here. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it for production. I'm not doing it for profit. I'm just doing it for myself. And it's a hobby. The building side of things, it's a hobby for me, but it's going to be really interesting to see these guys today. So I'm going to set off now. Let's have a look at these guys. So I am here at the CCM factory and boy, is there some good stuff inside. So the blokes here have kindly allowed me to film around here, see what's inside there. Let's have a look. CCM really came to life um, in 71 and uh, it was a, a, a great story. Alan Clues was a, a really sort of passionate weekend warrior riding trials and scramblers and so on and he wanted to win and the other way to win was to have the best bikes that were available at the time. At that point it was the BSA, so he approached BSA, they told him that they didn't want to sell him one of their works bikes. So he thought, right, I'll show you. Built his own. It was such a, a, a great first attempt. Uh, somebody said, how much do you want for that? Um, he came up with a figure, which was more than the, the sum of the, the parts. Sold it, never got to ride it. Built another one, the same thing happened again. And again, and suddenly, uh, he had a, a nice little cottage industry. The ideas of the Spitfire, it wasn't really a TCM plan for too long. We knew we wanted to create something for the custom market that felt more individual than what's out there at the moment. So we got together as designers and builders that, uh, and we are just talking about what bike we'd like to make if we didn't have any constraints with you know, forgetting about market research and all that kind of thing. And we put pen to paper and, and uh, came up with the Spitfire on, on CAD machine, uh, just based on what everybody was talking about. The style of the chassis, I would say, is elegantly brutal, <laughs> or brutally elegant, I'm not sure. But it's, you know, we, we tried to make a beefy, purposeful machine that you can have a lot of fun on. We wanted a trellis frame, something a bit different than CCM have done, you know, a, a departure from our high-tech Bondi aluminium chassis in the adventure bikes. We just wanted to make something aesthetically nice. So we wanted to make something a bit more British, a bit with a nod to 60s and 70s British sports cars with the elegance and, uh, of the chassis. 